Hello, this is Microworld Illustrated, and today we will be talking about an introduction to microorganisms. So, what are microorganisms? A microorganism, or micro for short, is any single celled or multicellular organism that is microscopic, which means being unable to see with the unaided eye. Some interesting facts about microorganisms is that some can form masses or structures that are visible. Take the mushroom, for example. It is actually a structure formed by microscopic hypha. Other examples are mold, algae, which is actually a clump of photosynthesizing proteins, and bacterial colonies. Here is algae, and here is a mushroom. Next, there are single-celled proteins that are big enough to be seen without any aid. Keep in mind, they aren't microscopic anymore, but are related to other microscopic organisms. Then, special microorganisms called extremophiles can survive even the harshest of conditions. And finally, the study of microorganisms is called microbiology. Now, let's talk about numbers. There is believed to be 1 trillion microbes on Earth as of today. And, and 99% of them haven't been discovered yet. Here's the scale, the enormity of microbes. Only one gram of soil can contain around one trillion cells, individual cells, and 10,000 different species of bacteria. In the tree of life, there are three domains of living, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. The first domain I'll be talking about is bacteria. Some characteristics of bacteria are that, that prokaryotic, they have no nuclear membrane, the most prokaryotic pathogens are bacteria, and currently being researched more than archaea. The, the some examples of bacteria are cyanobacteria, which are photosynthesizing bacteria, spirochades, which are gram-negative, and actinobacteria, which are gram-positive. The second domain is archaea. Their characteristics are pr they're prokaryotic, have no nuclear membrane, are considered to be the oldest organisms on Earth, and often live in extreme environments. Examples include methanogens, which produce methane gas, halophiles, which live in water in high salt concentrations, and thermoacetophiles, which live in acidic water with a very high temperature. The last, but certainly not least, are eukarya, which are eukaryotic, Mem have a membrane-bound nucleus, include us as humans, and contain more complex life. And examples are ki the kingdom animalia, which animals, kingdom plantae, or plants, and kingdom fungi, or f uh, which are fungi. And here are my photo credits. Now, thank you for watching my video of my brief introduction to microorganisms. Please like and subscribe if you have any questions or comments. Put them in the comment section and I will answer them. Thanks again.